Hello everybody. This is Michelle Litwiller with Owl Star Stampers. It is Wednesday, September 5th, and I am here for another Facebook Live. And tonight we're going to be doing Halloween. I have some Halloween fun stuff to show you. Um, but what I want to start out with is the holiday catalog. So the holiday catalog went live today. And so I'm going to show you um, a few things in here and we're going to make some Halloween um, little treats in a card. So that's what we have in store today. Um, some little fun projects. So I'll just wait a second for people to hop on. Um, thank you all for joining me. Um, please make sure that you say hi, and if you would share this with your friends or um, any group that you might think might like to watch us stamp, um, I would appreciate it. Okay, so let's get started um, with the holiday catalog. I handed these out at my Christmas class last week. If you did not get one and you're one of my customers or you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please um, message me or comment and I would be happy to get you a copy out in the mail. Um, the holiday catalog is full of amazing um, products. There's a lot of fun sweets, a lot of Christmas stuff, fall stuff. Um, there's new blends, there's tons of beautiful paper and embellishments, some kits. Um, it is just totally, I, I just love so much of it. And so I'm so happy, um, to dive in. But today I want to show you some of the fun Halloween things. If you are on page 49, you can see there is this really fun suite called Toil and Trouble. Now I like Halloween. I understand not everybody likes Halloween or celebrates it, but um, I love cutesy Halloween. I love seeing the kids all dressed up in cute little costumes. I don't like the scary, gory stuff. I like cutesy and um, cute things, and I love making little treats and giving them out um, to my neighbor kids and stuff like that. So this suite is awesome. There's these cute little spider trinkets, this beautiful ribbon. So here's the little spider trinkets. Um, and they like dangle and we're gonna use one um, on one of the projects today. Can you see that little spider? This is black foil paper. That's super fun too. This comes in 12 by 12 sheets. You get two sheets for $4. The designer series paper is amazing. Um, it's super fun colors. And you can tell I have cut mine up. I have used it. There's ghost, um, cute little cats and bats. Um, these little witches, there's the stamp set. You can stamp the little witch and color her in with the blends or you can die cut her right out of the paper. The framelits here coordinate with the paper, um, which is so cool. So the, even the hat will cut out with the framelit and there's a cauldron. Um, let's see, like, can you see all these? Look at those pretty papers for just fall or Thanksgiving. You could use this sheet. There's little brooms. Um, here you go, this is a cauldron that will cut out. And even this little cat. Um, but you can also stamp them and color them in as well. But I just love that the bundle will do that. Um, so this sheet right here, I'm gonna I cut this strip off for the card we're gonna make, and then I use the back as well. So um, the paper is just really fun, bright colors. And um, again, on the back, if you didn't know, it tells you what colors coordinate, or it will also tell you right down here in the catalog. Okay, and then real quickly, if you flip the page, there is this cute little um, takeout set. I, I'll be showing you this maybe uh, in an upcoming video. I just um, ordered that. 
And then um, this set is so cute. We're going to be using this today. And over on the last page, I love the bat. We have a bat punch. And um, I like some of these sentiments in here. And uh, the last thing is the, the punch and the stamp set is only $30.50. So that's a really, um, a really great deal if you want to bundle up on those. And we're going to be using this, a little bit of everything today because um, this went live. So here are, I have two little treat holders. This one holds a candy bar, just like a full-size Hershey bar. I did see at the store that they have Hershey bars with candy corn, or it's like candy corn flavored. So that might be kind of fun. I actually didn't buy it, but it's the same size. So I'll show you how to make this. And here we have that bat punch and it says spooky sweets. And so I'm gonna, we're gonna make this. We have this cute little card and this um, little pouch that holds gum or any type of um, a little treat. So let's get started with this one first. So what you're gonna need is um, your designer series paper, which I cut out the bat and I cut it out six by six so on a 12 inch page you can get four of these and then you score a half an inch on the side and the bottom so I already went ahead and did that it's just scored on the side and the in the bottom I'm thinking I don't didn't really need to do the bottom maybe I don't know anyway for this you're going to want to use a strong sticky tape um the tear tape or the liquid multi-purpose, the liquid glue, the green cap. Again, I'm, I'm almost out of my fast view, so I'm using that. But you're going to want to use a strong adhesive. You just run it all the way down that line. I actually don't think I needed to do that bottom. Um, you're going to fold this over, just like that. And then this side will come over, if I can get it, and it will line up perfectly and it lines up perfectly just like that and then you um, just lay it flat so you make like a little pouch like that you see that and then um, you could fold this over and staple it or I think I'm just actually just gonna staple it at the bottom like that so your candy bar will Go right in here this one I actually glued shut um I just glued it shut so anyway sorry my phone just beeped um so there's this part now we're gonna decorate it to decorate it I took a piece of granny apple green cardstock that measured three inches by I believe it was let's see it was three inches by two and a half and I ran it through a new folder that we have it's the corrugated dynamic and it has this really cool um, texture to it I, I love this folder you have to get this folder so it will shrink so you need to make it a little bit bigger on the sides because the sides do shrink up you can kind of pull it apart but it's really cool when you do that so that just goes on the front so I'm just gonna put some adhesive on that again this is granny apple green I'm just gonna stick this right here like that and then the next thing I did is I punched out a gorgeous grape one and three eighths scallop circle and then we're gonna take this stamp set that says spooky treats that is from the bat this one right here, the Spooky Sweets. This one, that we're gonna take that stamp and we're going to put it on our block and bring in our markers. So these are just our regular water-based markers and I have Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green. And um, when you color on your stamps, you need these. You can't use the blends because um, the these are water-based, like our ink pads. So some people kind of, why do I need these markers and why do I need those? 
they all have a different purpose. So yes, you need them all, <laughs> unfortunately. It's fun, they all have a purpose. So I'm coloring the spooky in the gorgeous grape and the granny apple green, I'm coloring in the sweets. And I'm just using the brush tip and I'm just lightly going across it on the side. I'm not using the tip because I don't want to damage my, my marker, my pen. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in a scrap of white paper. I'm going to huff on it and I'm just going to stamp this right here. And voila, I have a pretty um, stamped image. And I'm going to take my one and one quarter inch circle punch, one and a quarter, and I'm going to slide this in here and punch this out, just like that. Okay, so this is going to get attached here. And then we're gonna take a dimensional and put it on the back there, just one in the center because it's not too big. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to stamp these bats and punch them out with the cool bat punch. So here's my punch. Again, you can get this um, whole bundle for like $30.50. Um, now, I stamped it the wrong way earlier, so let's hope I do it the right way now. So I just have Memento Black ink, and I'm going to, this block is not big enough, so let's let me grab this one. I'm going to ink this up really good and then I think it goes kind of upside down so I'm gonna do it this way just like that and then I have my punch I'm just gonna slide it in and it should if I turn it just a little bit it should line up perfectly I might need to trim trim a little bit because I didn't do it straight. I'm actually just going to cut the chunk off. So you always stamp first and then punch out when you're um, punching out a stamped image anyway. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. I keep moving it and shifting it. Okay. Oh, I should have did this ahead of time. There we go. We got bats now. <laughs> Sorry that took me so long. Gee whiz. Okay, so we're going to use these two bats on our treat holder. So this one is going to come up here with a dimensional. And what I did is you would use the mini dimensionals or you can cut the little edge off. I just snipped the edge of mine. Remember, you don't want to waste that. Um, and I'm just putting it on the back of one of the wings. And then I'm just going to put this right up here like that. And then I'm going to put the other piece on the littler bat. And put him down on the bottom. And then I'm going to get out this cool ribbon it's so pretty, it's glittery, and it has like a wire in it. So you can kinda, it's called um, the Glittered Organdy Ribbon, and it's really sparkly, and it kind of has a wire, a thin wire, so you can make it keep its shape. So I'm just gonna make a bow with this pretty ribbon, and then I'm gonna stick it down with a mini glue dot. And then I would take my stapler and staple the bottom. Or you could glue it, glue it shut too. I think a stapler is what I'm gonna do. 
So it makes a really nice, this ribbon makes a really nice bow. And I'm just going to take my glue dots. Remember you stick your item on the dot, you press it down and when you lift it up, it sticks and it doesn't get stuck to your nail or wherever. And then this is just going to go up here like that. And then you can kind of like fluff up your, um, bow and there you have it. Now again, I would staple this, put a little staple here and there you have a cute little um, treat holder and you could use any of the patterns of paper and all the different little cute um, Halloween things. So there's our first treat holder. So here, here it is. I just had one candy bar. Okay, the next, the next little thing we're going to make is going to be this little gum pouch. And I did something similar for my swap um, for when I went on the Alaskan cruise. So I thought, again, you could use any type of candy and do the same thing. You would just measure your um, thing. So this gum you can get at the grocery store or probably at like Walmart or um, I ordered mine off Amazon and I just measured the size of the package and it came out to be eight and a half by three and a half. So I just set this on here like this and then I folded this up. This is it. Like it's, I didn't measure where to fold. I just kind of set the, set the little package in here and then you just fold it up like that. So that is the first part. You can take your um, bone folder and score it. The next thing I did is I took a pe this cute little ghost designer series paper and it has kind of purple in there. I don't know if you can see. So I took the gorgeous grape and I um, cut this down um, to, let's see, I forgot the measurement already and I know somebody will ask me. It is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then the designer series paper is just a quarter inch shorter. So it's three by two and a half. So those are the measurements to that. You're just gonna layer these together. Like, look at that, the stripes on the back. That could be used anytime for any type of card. So this just gets layered. And this gets put on the front. Now, remember, if you ordered from me last month for August during the bonus days, and if you got a $5 off coupon, remember, you can redeem that this month. Um, a couple of you, I have your codes. I know you'll probably be using them at card class. I do have a card class on Monday, um, September 10th, um, and it's an all-occasion class. So we'll be doing, like, a birthday, a thank you, and... Um, all new cards, super cute. So if you want to sign up for that, go to my website, owlstarstampers.com. Click on, I think it's my classes, and they're all listed there. And you can just click the links to register. So I have a class on Monday coming up. It's at 11 a.m. or 6.30 p.m. And I know they're getting a little bit full. So what I did is I wrapped this pretty ribbon around, and I just like kind of like started to tie it, but then I stopped. And see, it kind of holds because of that wire. And I'm gonna pull out one of these little spider little trinkets. And I'm going to now, because I didn't tie it all the way, I'm going to thread this on. It has like a little thing to make it dangle. Cannot think of the name of it right now. So it's just threads on there really easily. And then I'm going to finish tying it just in a knot. So I'm just gonna keep that spider there and I'm just gonna twist this around and tie it in a knot. And, okay. And then you're just gonna trim your edges. So then this little spider um, dangles. You see how he dingles right there? How cute. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to um,
decorate this even a little bit more. So your little gum or whatever candy will slide right in there. And we're going to use the stamp that says um, no tricks, just treats, which is in the same stamp set. And then we're going to use the ghost that is from the cauldron um, bubble stamp set. See this little ghost right here? And so we're using that. So let me grab the stamp that says no tricks, just treats. And we're going to use gorgeous grape ink. And while I'm stamping this, I have a question if you're watching and maybe somebody can give me some help. So I was just on, I guess, a little mini girls trip vacation with one of my lifelong friends. We've been friends for 30 years and that is the truth. And we were in the Dominican Republic. We were at, we were in Punta Cana celebrating. Um, she's getting married next month. And um, anyway, my lips got sunburned. So what can I do? Because my bottom lip is like killing me. I mean, I have like Burt's Bees chapstick and I have coconut oil, but like, does anybody have a remedy or something? Because it's driving me crazy. So if anyone has any tips for my burnt <laughs> lip from being out in the sun, I would appreciate it. So I stamped that in <laughs> gorgeous grape and I'm coming in with my one and three quarter inch circle punch. And I'm going to punch it out so there's a little, there's more room over here for my ghost. So here's that. And then I went ahead with that black foil and I punched out a two inch circle with that to layer on. So I just already did that and that paper is just really shiny and um, really pretty. So this just layers on here. And then I'm going to put that down with dimensionals. And then the next thing is I already stamped my ghost and I cut him out with the coordinating framelits that go with that cauldron bundle. And here he is, voila, just like that. And he's gonna go here popped up on a dimensional. And if I didn't grab it, but I meant to, if you have the Wink of Stella, you can color in his little body to make him a little sparkly. And there is another, um, another cute little um, treat holder. My friend that I was on the trip is saying Neosporin. So, I don't know, I thought I saw something else pop up, but I have to go through and read your comments. So, anyway, it was worth getting a little bit red. Um, we had an awesome time. So here, again, is another cute little treat holder. So there's our second one. Now I have a cute little card to make um, with you. And this card, we're going to be using this stamp set. This one is called Tr Trick or Tweet. And look at these cute little um, animals. And you can color them in with the blends. And we're going to be using this dog and the one that says, You're Spooktacular. Now, I just couldn't, I'm, I normally just focus on one stamp set, but these, I just love all the Halloween things this year. So, I went a little crazy tonight, but it shouldn't be too long. We're almost done. So, I have Lemon Lime Twist, um, just a half a sheet, and you're going to fold it in half. And I just saw my bone folder over here. And there we go, we have that. The next thing is I took that the, the designer series paper four by three and that is gonna get put right down here. And then the same sheet of paper, remember I took, it has the stripes 
um, I'm going to just attach that right there going across. So this is going to go across here just like that. So there's the start of our card. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is get our dog. So look at, I already went ahead and if you stamp him, this is what it looks like. You're going to stamp it in Memento ink because we're going to color in with the blends. And you're going to punch them out with a two inch circle punch. Um, I love the, I love the punches. So you need these. So this little guy is going to get punched out with a two inch circle punch. And the colors I use to color him in, in the new holiday catalog, we have some new blends. We have basic black and like real red and there's several new colors. So I use the basic black to color in the hat and his cape. I use pumpkin pie, which is not a new color, to do the little stripe there. And um, I use smoky slate for his nose. And now to color in the rest of him, um, I'm going to bring in this little scrap piece of paper because the blends are alcohol markers and they bleed through. So um, on, my, on this one, I use the ivory and then the, the light crumb cake for his eye. But for this one, I'm going to use light crumb cake and dark crumb cake. And we'll see what, what this looks like. So I'm going to color in his body with the light crumb cake. And then that little, like, kind of like the patch or spot on his eye, I'm going to do with the dark. So the blends, if you do, go out of the line. Or if you want to highlight or make a mistake, there is the eraser, which is super cool. Um, or if it bleeds too much, you can grab that. Um, the It's not an eraser. It's called the color lifter. That's the ter correct term. And then you can come in here and we'll shade your little cute little dog. Okay, now I'm going to do his that little spot with the dark crumb cake. And you know I make, I like simple. Oh, that looks so cute too. All right, here is our dog. All colored in. He's so cute. So, so cute. I went ahead and punched out a starburst in basic black that he will get layered to. And then we're going to use the bat punch again. Where's my bat punch? And some basic black cardstock. It's up here. And we're going to just punch out um, some bats. So if you don't want the, you don't have to stamp them. So I'm going to use this little one here. And then the last thing is the Your Spooktacular, which I already stamped. We're just going to make a little um, banner. This one was a little crooked, but I'm just going to use it. Um, we're just going to make the end of banner. So I just snip up the center and go from side to side. And I do have a new host code for September. So if you do any online orders, you can use that. Okay, so this is going to get put kind of like th here. The bat's going to go up here, and then we're going to add a little bow there with some black baker's twine. Kind of got a mess going on. Here it is. I'm almost out of black baker's twine. So I'm going to make a double bow, so I'm just looping it into two strands. And in just a second, if you joined in late, I will show you all the projects we made, and then you can always rewatch it. Or my videos always get posted on my YouTube channel, which is Owl Star Stampers. So all my Facebook lives are posted over there as well. So I'm just 
making this little bow and we are about done. Okay, let's assemble. So this is going down with dimensionals, one on the top and one on the bottom. I can get it off. This is going to come just a little bit off to the side. I'm going to flip my banner over, add a little bit of adhesive, and then tuck this underneath here, kind of like that. The little bat I'm going to put down with a mini glue dot. You could use a mini dimensional to give it a little bit of some, some dimension. That's going to go up there. And then my bow is going to go right down here, and I'm going to trim it. And that's it. That's a quick and simple card. And you could use any of these cute little um, animals on the same type of layout. Change out the, the designer series paper in that pack. There are so many cute ones. And you can make a bunch of cute little Halloween cards. And that is so right there. Here is our Halloween card, Your Spooktacular. So here's the card we made tonight. Again, we used all three of these new stamp sets in the punch. Um, here is this host code for this month if you'd like that. So we made this card, this little um, candy gum holder. And we made this um, chocolate bar holder. See, it just slides out with the bats. So I hope you enjoy these Halloween projects. And the holiday catalog, if you need a copy or you don't have a demonstrator, let me know and I would be happy to, um, to get you one. If you would like to come to any of my classes or events this month, go to my website, owlsarsampers.com. Click on my events, and everything is listed there. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to use your bonus day coupons if you collected those last month. So thank you for joining me this week. I'll be back next week. Feel free to share this. I do have a prize to give away, and I didn't announce last week's but I do have the rhinestones to give away. I'll announce that tonight as well. So I have another prize for this week. So share and comment. That will get you in um, the entry. And for this one, again, I'm just going to staple this one. Shut This one I glued. Um, I glued shut. This one I'm going to staple. So thank you for joining me. Have a great night. And um, enjoy the rest of your summer. And now that we're heading into fall, enjoy um, I'm excited for that and to head into the Halloween and fall season. Have a great night, everybody. Goodbye.